Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon and I just hopped out of the shower and put on some comfies, which includes this new pumpkin pie shirt, which is an embroidered design available now on blairlamdesign.com. I am not feeling 100%. I actually feel really good right now, especially after I got an afternoon nap and then I just took a shower. Um, but Nora and I both have some kind of just light congestion, head cold situation. Um, I really feel okay, but Yesterday I was like had a little bit of a sore throat as well and you know I have that fatigue that accompanies even a small head cold I always feel very fatigued and I definitely have that so I slept for a while yesterday during the day and then today I napped with Nora um, and she you might be able to hear her on the other side of the wall playing with Colin she's feeling great now and I'm really feeling a lot better too Riley is making a delicious dinner right now he is making Greek bowls so he's grilling Greek chicken and he made tzatziki sauce and all of the things to go with it. In fact, he made some homemade, um, did he make pita bread or naan? I think he said he made naan um, to go with it and he like let it rise and did the whole thing. He's a really fantastic cook. Day to day, um, usually he cooks on the weekends, I'll say that. D Monday through Friday it's hard for him because he's not at home as much as me and a lot of times there's prep work that needs to be done. But if ever I'm tired and don't feel like finishing the meal that I'm preparing in the evening, he will always like jump in and do it which is another vote for Plan to Eat, which is the meal planning service that we've been using for our entire marriage, literally seven full years coming up this November, um, because he can just log in there and see what is planned for the night and just jump in. So that's what he did yesterday and the day before, and he's just been a big, big help. So I'm really excited for dinner tonight. It's going to be yummy. I haven't been having much of an appetite, but with breastfeeding, I know I need to stay on top of that because my supply will drop a lot if I don't. So I just wanted to welcome you to this cozy Sunday night, um, a little bit sickly Sunday night, but not bad, not bad. I'm sure I'll wake up tomorrow feeling just fine. Um, it could have been a combination of so many different things, exhaustion, you know, we traveled last weekend, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully I am in the clear. I'm standing in my closet if you're wondering where the heck I am. I'm in my closet because my kids are um, just playing heartily. <laughs> I spent the afternoon doing all kinds of things. One of the things that I did this afternoon was create the labels that I'm going to use for the bins in our playroom. So I'm doing photo labels instead of words so that Nora can also help me sort and clean up the toys. And I'm going to implement a toy rotation. So that will be in this vlog. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, um, welcome to our week. Thank you for being here. Tonight I made Greek chicken and this I made on the grill. I was gonna do it inside but it was taking too long. Um, it's delicious both ways. I made tzatziki sauce with extra garlic. Used too much cucumber. But um, I guess it's okay. But then I made homemade naan bread, which is all torn up here, but it's uh, delicious. I made it's basically bread dough with yogurt and egg in it and you um, cook it on the pan real fast. Really good. Um, and rice and tomatoes and some onions. It's a Greek bowl. Good morning and happy Monday. I am so excited because I just got this in the mail. This is Colin's Halloween costume. <laughs> um, <laughs> as soon as I start talking, they both, <laughs> they both kick up. Yes, so if you watched last week's vlog, it's in the mail, Nora. If you watched last week's vlog, Colin is going to be like an x-ray, which is like a skeleton costume, but he's like going to be an x-ray, and Nora is going to be a doctor. And she's been asking about her doctor costume all morning because this came and she saw it, and now she wants hers. But hers is still in the mail, but it's going to be really cute. So this is great. This is a children's place um, pajama set. It's very, very soft. I really like the feeling of the fabric. It's like that nice thick cotton. I will leave it linked below. I got it off Amazon. It was about $13 or $14. Here comes Mrs. Doctor. Are you going to be a doctor and Kali's going to be your x-ray? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Her curls are so funny. They just grow straight up into this poof on her head. They're actually pretty long, but because they just grow up, you can't, you can't tell how long they are. Like they come all the way down here. So you like that outfit for Kali? Yeah. And you're gonna be a doctor and he's gonna be an x-ray baby? It's a little too small for you, but it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's 
for Halloween, Nornor. Are you so excited? So if you were watching last week's vlog, I explained the costumes more and I said that I was gonna talk to my sister and see what she was doing for Halloween. Um, Cause she's always so creative. And she said she thinks she might be doing Peter Pan and Tinkerbell and baby Eliza would be Tinkerbell, which literally kills me. That's so cute. But she hasn't decided yet. And she is known for changing her mind in the last minute. So we will see. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm making my morning liquid IV now, and I don't know if I've ever shared about this one. This is the immunity support one, immune support drink mix, and it's tangerine. The flavor is really good. I have a whole bunch of vitamin C and things to support immunity in it. And since I'm feeling just a little bit sniffling today, um, I think I talked about that yesterday, I'm gonna make that this morning. <laughs> so, Colin's making me laugh. So um, make sure that you check this one out, especially as we head into the fall and winter months. And you can always get 25% off your entire order plus free shipping with the code Blair underscore blogs. So there you go. Both of the kids are down for a nap right now and I'm just gonna tidy up the house. It's actually not as bad as it is some days, <laughs> but that's all relative. Um, I just got these new shorts and I wanted to show you them. They're Levi's. I really like Levi's jeans a lot. Um, I feel like they are great. These are high-waisted and I like that they sort of hold everything in. And even though by the time this video goes up, it will be September um, here, here in Texas and in many Southern warm states, um, we will be wearing shorts for another mm, two months, maybe even longer. So let me show you. Let me show you what they look like. I have to stand way back here so that you can see them, but they are high-waisted and actually they, it's a button fly, which I really like. It kind of holds it all in. This is my most insecure area. Um, and I like how it, how it does. I like, I like them. I think they're cute. They come in a lot of different colors and styles, um, but I will link them below. I got them off Amazon and um, I think the price is really good for quality denim. I, I like I said, I really like Levi's. So. I will link it below. This is also from Amazon, and every time I wear it, I get compliments. It's just a gold chain that has our last name letter on it, L. Um, and it was so cheap, and I have been wearing it a lot because I don't want to wear my nice jewelry because Colin pulls on it. And then one day I did wear one of my nice necklaces, he pulled on it and broke it. So I'm sticking with my Amazon jewelry for now. I'll link that as well. All right, perfect timing. <laughs> my huge tower of containers for organizing the playroom just got here while I was about to start cleaning up the playroom. So it's perfect. So I just, I haven't gotten the um, labels yet, but I just made um, the preliminary labels. Like I'll just put these on the outside. They're just post-it notes. Then I'll replace them with the permanent ones once they arrive. Um, and I'll show you those down the line, but I'm going to get going and see how far I can get while the kids stay asleep. Oh my goodness. That was so cathartic. So what I've done is separate it all out into the bins, which they fit perfectly in this cabinet um, or shelf is more a better word for it. So I will leave a link to the shelf, which is from Walmart. And then the bins, I actually think I ordered those from walmart.com as well, but they're available in a lot of different places. I saw them on Amazon, but they had the biggest set at the best price on Walmart. So all of the loose items are sorted and it just feels so good to have not just big buckets because we used to just have buckets like that or these. These are all empty, just full of little pieces. And it was hard to tell what was what. The only open bucket that I have left, this one, is all of Colin's like baby toys because he obviously does not yet have the dexterity, although he's probably close because he's a wild man, to open up these bins. I do not want to leave all of these bins out all the time. I want to implement a toy rotation, but the kids are probably going to be waking up anytime now, and I don't want to think through that yet. So I'm going to leave these out, and maybe, maybe... No, I don't think, I was going to say maybe having them like this will deter Nora from opening them all up, but I highly doubt that. So we will implement a toy rotation, just not right in this exact moment. I have a couple of things that I'm not sure what to do with, so I'm going to sort those here in just a second, but that's it. Everything else belongs to a set. Um, and then a few things up top that are like, Nora plays with this all the time. This is like a Peppa Pig picnic basket. And then these are some wooden items that nobody really plays with anymore. So I might sell those on Facebook Marketplace. There's a pegboard that goes with these pieces. I need to find that. And then Nora plays with this a lot. This is a little purse that has like a fake cell phone and fake keys. And then this is like play makeup. Um, 
So I want to talk to Riley about exactly what he th is thinking, like how many items to keep out. And I also think maybe involving Nora in it would be a good idea. So maybe asking her each Sunday that she gets to pick, you know, three or four bins and she gets to pick however many of the larger scale toys. And then we'll just leave Colin's basket of baby toys out all the time. Um, I'm really thrilled about this new system. It's so much easier <laughs> to keep track of everything. Um, and I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So I am going to finish tidying up this room. I will handle the rest of this this evening. I have a couple more things I want to get done before they wake up and they will be waking up anytime now. So um, that was a great use of nap time though. A really good use of nap time. I also need to go through this enormous bin of stuffed animals. Um, certainly there are some of those that we could let go of, but Nora plays with them a lot. That's the thing that's hard. When I was growing up, I was not allowed to have stuffed animals because my mom really did not like them. She felt like they were always dirty. They were always like overrunning people's houses. So we literally each had like one or two stuffed animals. And you know, those little things in childhood that you weren't allowed to do, you like want to let your kids do. So we have always just, Nora has so many stuffed animals and we just let her and she pulls them all out and she lines them up and she plays doctor with them and everything. And I love that. Um, but we could definitely par down. We could definitely par down. Okay. I'm going to clean up the boxes that these containers came in. None of them were broken, which is wonderful. Pick up these last few items and we have a very organized playroom for the first time in a while. I'm very excited about that. Hey guys, it is about... Wow, it's 5.45 already. And the kids and I just got back from an afternoon Target run. So I thought I would show you what we got. We didn't have anything in mind. I just wanted to get them out of the house and I wanted to get out of the house without going somewhere outdoors because it is like 96 degrees right now. And I just, I'm over a summertime. Um, so I got a whole bunch of fun stuff. So I thought I would show you a little Target haul. I got some fresh passies for Colin because his are just getting really nasty. This is my current favorite mascara. I was using the um, Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara and Waterproof for literally years and years and years. And I got a sample of this CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara also in Waterproof and I really like it. Um, so I've, that's this is what I've been wearing all summer long. So I got a fresh tube of that. When I was up visiting um, my family in Maryland, my mom had this and um, I borrowed it after I took a shower and I loved the way it made my skin feel. My skin just soaked it all in. It didn't feel greasy and I loved how soft my skin felt afterwards. So especially as eventually we're heading into cooler weather, I thought I would really like to use this. So it's um, a coconut hydrate body oil by Palmer's. So I got that. That's everything in that bag. These are the cups that we have been using with Colin, except for we only have one and it's hot pink, which is not a big deal. And it's completely cracked, which is a big deal. <laughs> but it's like the best cup for him right now because it's a straw, but the straw is weighted. So even if the baby turns the cup to the side, the straw moves with it um, so that they, the baby can still suck the liquid up. And so he's just learning how to drink, you know, just a little bit of water or whatever with a meal. Um, so I got him a two pack, a blue and a green. Um, that are not cracked, that are fresh. So there's that. And then this I have heard from so many folks that it is so delicious. It's the birthday cake granola by the Safe and Fair Company. The Safe and Fair Food Company. It's supposed to be really clean. Here it says top nine allergen free, gluten free, non GMO, vegan, kosher, whole grain, ancient grains, plant based. No trans fat, cholesterol free, no artificial ingredients, preservative free, and no high fructose corn syrup. So I got it in the birthday cake flavor. I, I like to have yogurt, vanilla yogurt in the morning with like strawberries. That sounded good with that. Um, and then this is the same brand, but it's honey crisp apple pie flavored, which I thought sounded good with fall. And then these are just some snacky things. I saw this and immediately thought of Riley. Um, it's this Tex-Mex trail mix um, because it has like some spicy, spicy peanuts, almonds, salsa, corn sticks, sesame sticks, chili bits, and pepitas. With football coming, he will be thrilled. 
And then this just sounded really good to have a little handful as a um, treat or like a dessert. So this is the Favorite Day Cookies and Cream Trail Mix. And um, it has almonds, dark chocolate chips, cookies and cream flavored bites, white chocolate chips, fudge flavored cookie pieces, yum, and peanuts. That sounds so good. That's a good little dessert. So that's that one. And then one more bag. I just got a couple of things um, <clears throat> for Nora for fall. So I actually placed a big um, baby gap order only for Colin. I didn't get anything for Nora in it. Um, for his fall wardrobe because he is just getting so big and all of his clothing is getting too tight but I don't want to go out and buy all kinds of new you know shorts and short sleeve shirts so I'm just using the ones that still fit him and just doing a lot of laundry um, but I placed a huge order for a whole bunch of pants and long sleeve shirts and things like that for him for the fall and winter okay sorry sibling rivalry <laughs> um, anyway I ordered a whole bunch of baby gap stuff from a whole bunch of fall clothing from Baby Gap. We got her doctor Halloween costume. I'll show you in a minute. It's so stinking cute. It's so cute. You want to come show your your how your costume? Yeah. Stand right here. Look how cute. She has little scrubs and a little doctor coat. Where's your stethoscope? Oh, you better go get it, Doctor Nora. We're gonna embroider it. I um I love you want to sit with mommy. I love I absolutely love baby gap for baby boy clothes. I love it for baby girl mommy. clothes too. But I feel like I can find baby girl clothes that I love in a lot of different places. But I cannot find baby boy clothes that I love in a lot of different places. I like very very classic baby boy clothes. Lots of navy blue, white, khaki, gray, greens. Mommy. You want to try some of this? Yeah. Okay, we can do that in a second. I'm going to show your clothes. Like, I just like very simple, classic baby boy clothing. And um, Baby Gap, when, like, they have the most adorable baby boy clothes and they have great quality clothes. So, that's, he's wearing Baby Gap right now. And he will be wearing Baby Gap all fall and winter. I'll show you that, that, um order when it comes in. Okay, so Nora picked this one out for herself. It is Teal Sparkles. Just a long sleeve t-shirt. I just got three long sleeve t-shirts and a dress. I thought this one was cute, kind of retro. It just says kindness. And I said, you're so kind, so we have to get it for you. <laughs> but I love this color. It's like maroon fall color. Thought that'd be cute with a pair of little jeans and then just a plain white one. Um, and then I just, she has a sundress like this that's a tie-dye and she wears it all of the time. So um, I got this little sunflower one. I thought this was a good, a good transitional colorway going from summer into fall because it's kind of golden and brown. You'd like to have some of that? Okay. So me and Dr. Norno are going to make a little snack. Or actually we're going to make dinner. It's like almost six o'clock. Daddy's going to be home soon. But that was a fun way to spend the afternoon. I'll insert a picture of her that I took a few minutes ago of her all dressed up with her stethoscope. You are so cute. Are you excited for Halloween? And what's Bubba going to be? Bubba going to be an x-ray. An x-ray? Yeah. He's going to be your x-ray and you're going to be the doctor? Oh. It was so much fun on the drive to and from Target, which is a, a little bit of a drive. Um, I turned on Taylor Swift and I was just listening to her music. And I've been a fan of hers since forever. And... Her music is like the soundtrack to my like coming of age because Fearless, her first album came out in um, when I was in high school. And so all of those songs remind me of very specific moments of high school. In fact, one song came on the song that's called Breathe. And um, I just loved that song. I love that song. It's she like is harmonizing with Colby Calais and it's beautiful. But anyway. That song reminds me so much of when I broke up with my high school boyfriend and it was like so soul crushing and so hard and but I knew it was the right thing to do and all this and listening to that song just brings it's like amazing how music evokes emotions um, and there were several others like them it was on shuffle just like all of Taylor Swift and then when we got to like some of her speak now 
music. It was reminding me so much of some college like crushes that I had and a couple of college boyfriends that I had. And then when we were starting to listen to like Red in 1989, I was really remembering like falling in love with Riley. Wow, that's loud. Um, falling in love with Riley and dating him and everything else. So it, <laughs> I was singing my heart out. I was having a great time. Anyway, I'm gonna figure out what we're doing for dinner while Nora eats some of this granola and get all these things put away. But um, it was a really fun afternoon. I'm glad we wanted to do that. It's been a while. Good morning and happy Tuesday. The very first thing Riley woke up and did this morning, it's like just 8 a.m., was bake a loaf of sourdough bread from Wild Green. I'll leave a link below. There's only a couple more spots left for the $30 off your first box plus free croissants for life. Um, because he wanted to make avocado toast this morning and um, he wanted the sourdough bread. So he just made that and it just came out of the oven. He's in the shower now. When he gets out, he'll make his little avo toast. And I'm gonna make some breakfast for the kids. It's a stormy, thunderstormy Tuesday. Welcome to it. Doesn't that look delicious? Hello, it's Tuesday now. I think the only thing I've filmed today so far has been the uh, sourdough bread. I'm up among a sea of garments with more coming. Um, I have tons of orders to package today. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I will admit it, I was in a really bad mood when I woke up and just being really snappy with Riley and just frustrated. I think I'm just really tired. Um, so I had a lot of coffee, lots and lots of water, a good protein breakfast. I'm trying to wait for the energy to come back to me. So far it hasn't, but we're crossing our fingers and toes that it will. Um, I apologize, we made up before he went to work, but <laughs> unlike pre-kid days when you wake up and you're in a bad mood and you can just take a minute to yourself, you wake up, your feet hit the floor, and you are hitting the ground running um, with with the kids. So, you know, it is what it is. It's a part of life, but I, it was just not a great morning. So everything's okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, I just have so much work to do. I have a whole bunch of packaging orders to do. I have some emails to answer. I need to run to the post office. I need to go up and sort garments. I need to create the listings for the fall football line. It's a mini line that I'm launching this Thursday. By the time this video goes up, it will be live. I'm super, super excited about it. Um, so yeah, I better get to work. But good morning, happy Tuesday. I hope your day is off to a better start than mine is. We are in the car as a family. It's 5.15 in the evening and Riley came home early. Where are we going? my mom's new house so my mother-in-law bought a brand new house and a brand new house to her but it is a true like relic from 66. 1966 which she has been looking for for her whole life really like a, a true mid-century modern or I guess it's just called mid-century at yeah. that point. Now it's modern. A true mid-century home that's been kept in good condition. And it's a really neat home. And she just absolutely loves it. It's on a cool piece of property. Um, and we, I've walked through it. Riley's seen it several times and walked through it a couple of times. But our kids have never been there. And Nora is so thrilled. So we are going over to see her new house. And for Nora to get the chance to walk through it, she just, the ink is dry as of today, right? She signed this morning and closed on it this morning. Um, and she'll be moving in over the next few weeks. So it's, it's I'm sure a little bittersweet for everyone because that home that she currently lives in, or I guess not anymore, it was the kid's childhood home. You guys grew up there. Um, and it's been the family for a while. So it's it's definitely like a big step, but she's really excited about it and we are happy for her. Um, and I know Nora's gonna love seeing it. It's a, it's a really sweet home to think about my kids having memories and growing up like as their grandmother's home, don't you think? It's a perfect grandma house. It really it's is. It's the most grandma house I've ever seen. It really is. It's really, really cute. And she does not plan on doing absolutely anything to it. She wants it to be exactly as it is. She doesn't want to do any, you know, updating or any renovating or anything like that. She, right? I think she wants to undo some updates. She wants so. to undo some updates, he said, from previous owners. She wants it to be like a time capsule. Um, and we've been furniture shopping and she's been looking at some really cool mid-century, you know, inspired furniture. And I just think it's going to be a really... It's gonna be really cool, you know. It's cool now, but it's gonna to continue to be really cool as she puts her mark on it, so we, that's what we're doing. It's raining, but sunny.
maybe we'll get to a big rainbow. That would be a cool thing on the day she closed on her house. Yeah. Um, so I'll show you. I think she said that I she was like excited about me filming so you guys could see the inside, but of course I'll double check before I turn the camera on once we get there. But some of y'all will love it. Those of you who love this kind of thing will totally love it. It's like House Hunters on my channel, <laughs> except for she already bought it. But that's how House Hunters is actually filmed. Yeah. I think it feels like such a phony. I know. After you know that and then you watch it and they're all just bad actors, which is why they're so unlikable. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, I'll show you when we get there. Go, Nora, go! You wanna see this house? Yeah. Nora's so excited. She is so thrilled and excited. Bye! Where are we? Look at this house! <laughs> Bye! Bye. so good! See what it is? Oh, this is big! Come here! Oh, that's nice. Come on, let's go! No. There's some stairs, yeah. Let me hear. You see my kitchen? Yeah. This is my kitchen. Look at this neat place to sit in all the hands. How's that? That's good, isn't it? That's where you're going to have your dinner? Yeah. Does that look good? Yeah. Do you love it, Nui Nui? Mommy, mommy, look. Look. I want to see the windows. You can see, see the windows. The window. Swing, yeah, is that something that's a little close to the house? <laughs> clunk, clunk. Everyone is upstairs and I'm downstairs with Colin, so I thought I would give you a little overview. Here is the kitchen. It's a galley style kitchen with a built in circular dining table. And we found a really cool mid century chandelier to hang here and get rid of that fan. And it overlooks a really beautiful piece of property that she now owns, which is really cool. And then these windows go all the way up and they actually open up into this sunroom out here, which we were just shopping the other night for some big overstuffed white um, couches to put out here. Won't that be nice for reading and for coffee? And it has the windows go all the way around. And then I love, it's hard to capture on camera, but the, the windows go all the way up, so these rooms just feel so spacious. And then there's a dining area here. Again, we'll switch out. I'm saying wheel because we've been having these conversations, but she will switch out the chandelier for something more true to the house and the era of the house. And a cool fireplace. And then these beams going all the way up. And there's a built-in desk area over here, which is neat. Doesn't just just make this like makes me feel nostalgic for a time I've never lived in. But like a big cozy couch here, and someone could be working at the desk, and I just love it. The beams are really cool. Colin wants to get down somewhere. Else. I see you. Then there's these cool stairs, which Colin no doubt will be going up. There's some skylights. All right, so this will be a bedroom, and there's some great closets in here, and some great built-ins, and the bathroom. Goes back through to the kitchen. Christmas tree, that's where it'll go. All right, so we are in one of the bedrooms. Really neat. Um, I think this bedroom is so, so cool. So it has some wood detailing and a beam up at the top and then these huge windows. And then if you come in here, there's this little desk nook, which is really neat. I mean, what a, what a nice place to uh, work. And some built-in shelves, and this is all original. Um, and a built-in bench. And then like a really, really nice closet. I'm like, this is an oasis. <laughs> and they left the mirror here. And all of the closets have um, automatic lights that go on when you open them, which I think is really cool. That probably is not original, but that's a cool upgrade. Here's a bathroom. Here's a bedroom. Hi, Nora Nora. She's loving it. Um, this 
porch can be functional, but it needs to be redone because it um, is not safe at this point. But I mean, what a view, right? It's really beautiful. And some cool light fixtures. This bedroom has quite a lot of the wood detailing, so it has a darker feel to it than the um, one we were just in. So I think this is going to be like the playroom. It's cool, right? There, she probably will put like a TV and then these cool little shutters which overlook into the sunroom. It's just all these little details that give these, these houses so much character. It's really cool. Um, and then like even... There's even like more great storage in here. And even more with a whole bunch in here. So she has plenty, 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 plenty of great, great storage. So that's pretty much an overview of the house. Maybe my favorite detail of the house is this front door. I absolutely love it. Nora, what's wrong? You want to go outside again? Okay. You could say, Mommy, can we go outside again? Isn't that neat with the carving? I just love it. Good morning. Woo, I'm like in a tizzy right now. It is um, Wednesday morning, and the kids and I just went to story time, and I took a couple of clips of that, so I'll show those here. As always, story time is such a win. Both of them had a great time. And then we went and played on the playground for a while. And I'm currently sitting in the driveway of a house that Riley and I are about to go tour with our agent. So she should be here any minute. And Riley's not here yet. Um, he's coming and meeting me here from work. So I'm really excited. It's I don't want to get my hopes up because we've looked at so many houses at this point, but it, the pictures of it look promising. So we are going to go check it out and see what we think about it. And I'll let you guys know after. Okay, it's been several hours since we went and saw that house and I have been avoiding picking up the camera because I'm not quite sure what to say. There were some parts of the house that we absolutely loved and there's just like really one, really honestly only one thing about it that is pretty problematic for us. But I think there could be a way that we could circumvent the problem for the short term and in the long term we could possibly like make some changes to solve the problem so riley and i have been sort of wavering on whether we want to put an offer in or not i think we could be really really happy there if we could overcome this one thing but then it's kind of a big thing so do we really i don't know i don't know i'll let you know before we go to bed tonight whether or not we put an offer in but i think there's enough like Oops, sorry, um, my camera died, so I had to go switch out the battery. I will let you know before um, I go to bed tonight if we do put it in offer. Right now, I think we're probably leaning towards not just because it's, I just think it's a pretty big issue. But everything else about the house is so great. And it's one of those things like weighing pros and cons, how to know how much weight to give to everything. Anyone who is house hunted, especially in this market, understands it is a crazy town. Um, anyway, so I'm just spending some time with the kids this afternoon. I'd like to go up to work this evening if possible, um, so I might be doing that, but it was fun to see a house. It's encouraging to see houses that are checking off most of the boxes on our list, which has our list has gotten shorter and shorter over the past couple of years that we've been looking and more whittled down to exactly what we want. Um, so it's very encouraging to see a home that is so close to what we're looking for. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I just got Colin's fall and winter wardrobe in the mail from Baby Gap. I ordered it about a week ago, so I'm excited to see it here. This is the first half of it, and then I'll show you the second half here in a minute. So I got him some navy blue and gray pants. He has these in the next size down in both colors and wears them all the time. This is such a cute blue little sweatsuit one piece with a flannel hood 
plaid adorable and then this is a little bit less warm but still just a one piece those are so nice and comfy oh and then just two onesies this one is um i forget what this is called when it has the colored sleeves i should know that this is like the industry i'm in but i forget um and then like a blue onesie like this and then two that are not onesies they're just normal shirts which are nice for layering like if he has on you know let's say this with a pair of these and then we're going somewhere and it's he needs a little extra layer something like this is nice i think this is super cute with the navy blue and white stripes and then this one is um gray so this is the first you know lot of it and let me put out the second lot all right and here is the rest of it this is so stinking cute it's a little sweatsuit um, and it's Baby Gap Star Wars, and so it has some little Star Wars patches, and it has another little one here on oh, the little sweatpants. I cannot. Um, I got this for Riley. Riley's a huge Star Wars fan, and it says, you are too cute. I really could do without this, but I get it that they're just trying to really, like, Star Wars it up. But I think the patches are cute. They're actual embroidered patches, um, which I think is really cute. So he'll be super cute in this. They had this without all the Star Wars stuff, and that was what was originally in my cart. But then when I saw this, I thought, oh, Riley will love that. And then I bought a three pack of this, their organic cotton line. Um, and it comes with like a mossy green and then like a coppery color and then this like dusty blue. And then I bought the same exact colorway, um, but in the, in the pants. And my thought was like, for so many days, he, Colin is just at home, you know, or we're just, he's like crawling around and he'll be walking soon. And I was thinking like baby loungewear, like matching loungewear, so cute. Of course, we can also mix and match. And he has a lot of jeans and overalls that he got handed down. So I knew that's why I didn't buy any jeans or khakis. He already has those in the next size up. So the, this like under overalls or whatever would be perfect. But also I just was like, how, how soft and comfy for him to be at home. Um, but it's still like a little outfit. So stinking cute, can't even. So I'm going to take the tags off of everything and wash it all and put it all away. Um, and he will be wearing it in no time. I can't wait, he's so cute. But I love Baby Gap. They have the cutest classic baby boy clothes. Um, like this is what I like. This is really, this is me. So um, I'm excited about this. I'm really excited about this. More mail that just came. We got a big Grove collaborative order. Well, big, I guess, is relative. But this is a company I've loved for a long time. I haven't talked about them in quite a while. But I do still have a referral link below. So if you place an order with them and you use my link, you get a free five or six piece Mrs. Myers clean day cleaning set. So that's kind of fun. So these are actually all gifts for my mother-in-law. We're putting together like a gift basket for her for since she just got her new house. Um, and so I wanted to get some like fun, good smelling housey stuff. So this is my absolute favorite Mrs. Meyer scent, the apple cider. It smells so good. So we got her the hand soap, the all purpose spray, the dish soap and the candle. Go ahead and put, put it in the trash. Okay. And then I got a couple of the travel size packs of, um, the yes to cucumbers, soothing facial wipes. Um, I got these because I needed a couple more dollars to hit the free shipping threshold, but I also do like to keep these with me when I travel, so it worked out. And then the things that I got for myself or for us, um, I have loved these Grab Green Garbage Disposal Fresheners for a long time. They smell so good. They work so well. So I got some of them. This hand sanitizer gel I got um, for free from them, but I really do like it. I've had it before. And then this, whoops, these are what I'm really excited about. They are cleaning concentrates so they're these little tiny bottles inside each package there are these little bottles and they're glass you empty the little bottle into a spray bottle and then you fill it up with water and then you have multi-purpose cleaner and so this one is the mauled apple scent so i will use that in september and then my thought was to use the spiced pumpkin well like you know september into october October into November, use the spice pumpkin, and then November into December, orange and rosemary. I thought that sounded really great. So that's my little Grove haul. Good morning, happy Thursday. It is September 1st today. I am so excited. 
to celebrate before I head up to my office, I'm going to make a little quick drive through Starbucks and get a pumpkin cream cold brew, which is probably one of, if not my favorite, like seasonal drink they have all year. Well, actually my favorite is the iced peppermint white chocolate mocha because it tastes like peppermint bark. That's my very favorite. And this comes probably in second place, but I just love it. I've been looking forward to it and it's been out here for at least like a week, I think. Um, but I haven't had the chance to go by and grab one. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I'm going to do that first and then head up to my office. The kids are with their sweet babysitter for some time today so I can get some work done. I did go up and work last night after dinner. Um, for a few hours, I just have lots of packaging to do, which is a good problem to have. So I went up into that for a while and then came home and got a good night's sleep and, uh, going to hit the ground running again tomorrow. I didn't even bother with makeup because I'm just packaging orders and, um, working in that way, like all day long. So that's what I'm going to do. Happy September. Happy September. I'm so excited. All right, I'm up at my office and I got my pumpkin cream cold brew. I also wanted to share about these black sleeves. These things are the bomb. Um, they're so great. Uh, the other one's just an ice water, but it's so nice to have them because otherwise they sweat everywhere and it keeps them colder longer. So they're just from Amazon. It's a three pack. You get a uh, venti, grande, and a tall size, um, which is really nice. So I just leave them in my car. I will link them below. Wow, I look even worse than I expected. I got caught in a huge <laughs> rainstorm. <laughs> Riley was coming to pick me up and we went to get lunch together. And um, it was, I mean, we haven't seen rain like that since the springtime. It was torrential downpour type of rain. I even had an umbrella, but I was just soaked. My shoes are still soaking wet. Like my, I need to go change actually. I'm like completely soaking wet. Um, <laughs> Um, and then it was so funny because we got to lunch and we walked inside and the rain and like like darted through the rain to go inside and the rain completely stopped and um, it hasn't it's still like gray outside I think it's supposed to pick back up here in the next hour but we definitely were like out getting into our cars and like meeting at this restaurant and, or whatever like in the middle of the worst part of the rain. I got so much done today, but I didn't realize <laughs> how long it was going to take. I got, I mean, I had like, I don't know, a hundred plus packages to package up, to ship out. And I had expected to do that and then go over to Riley's studio and sort and then start editing this vlog. And I don't know what I was thinking because I only did the first of those three things. So my kids are still asleep, um, taking their afternoon nap and I just said goodbye to our babysitter for the day. So I'm gonna change into something that's nice and dry. And um, I am going to go ahead and I think- <gasps> Nora! That scared me. Nora, hi! Come here, I missed you. Did you just take your nap? Oh, look at this biggest- I missed you today. Are you wearing your sunflower dress because it's September? Yeah. And you have a matching bow, but it's kind of, oh, oh, you still have lunch on your face. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm going to spend some, I was going to read my book, but now I'm going to hang out with Nora because she's awake, aren't you? You're sweaty. You look like you had a good nap, huh? Yeah. All right. I am finished with this phase of my playroom organization project. It has gone so well. I love it. So I got these little, let me show you what they look like actually. So they come in a pack of 50 and they are from Amazon and they are three by five index cards holders, index card holders. That's the size that I got. They come in a couple different sizes and here's what they look like. And then the plastic sleeve part just peels right off of the white part. And then I printed these, I made these little images to be just about three by five. So we have all the magnet tiles, all the wooden building blocks, all of the little people, vehicles, Bluey toys, doctor stuff, Peppa toys, play food, play animals, dress up shoes, Barbie and baby doll like stuff. Um, like she has a baby doll diaper bag and all kinds of baby doll stuff. And so it's like so nice. And Nora has been... 
You want to play with the little people? Yeah. See? Um, she loves that she can identify from the outside, and I she just, when I was doing, finished. Okay, one second, please, because this is the very bottom. She loves that she can, like, know what's inside, and also she recently, like, five minutes ago, had all the play food out, and I was like, can you put all the play food back? And she was, like, looking at this, and it, it's totally working. So I think what we're going to do is choose a couple of these to leave out and put the rest of them away. Okay. <laughs> I want the little people out, please. All right. I want a Barbie. You want Barbie instead? That's a little easier to get to. Let me move this. I want to this. Here you go. <laughs> You're welcome. Whoa. So, like, huge success. I'll link all of the components of this organizational project below. I will check in and let you know how it goes. I love that I, because I have 50 of these sleeves and all I have to do is just print the little insert, I, this is unlimited. Like, we could do it for arts and crafts or whatever. Um, honestly, the visual aspect of it helps me, too. So, I really like it. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you and happy Friday. It is early in the morning this morning and I am up at Riley's studio. I am by myself, nobody else is up here yet. Um, the idea was before Riley comes into work for me to get the work that I need to get done, done because I totally overestimated how much I would be able to get done yesterday. So I got lots of packages mailed out yesterday so if you have placed an order, it's on your way it's on its way to you. Um, and I have some serious sorting that I need to do um, with all of the garments that have come in. And I'm looking at the pile now and my eyes are widening because it's a lot. Um, so I'm gonna get to work and get all that done so that um, it's finished. And Riley will likely stay after his work hours today to start making a dent. And then, you know, by next, early next week, we'll have all of these sewn out and screen printed so I can mail them out by mid next week. So I better get to it. I'm still sort of waking up, <laughs> but this will be so worth it to have this done. I'm, I'm, I'll be looking forward to checking this off my list. All right, I am back home after an extremely productive morning up at Riley's studio, getting things done. It's about 10 o'clock now. I'm about to go nurse Colin and put him down for his morning nap, but I just thought I'd give you an update that these Little bins have been going so, so well. We allow Nora to sit up here on the table because <laughs> her brother, <laughs> oh my goodness, you are crazy. You wild man, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, we'll destroy, like if she sets up her what she's doing right now on the floor, or even on the coffee table up front, um, Colin will ruin it. So we let her, we let you sit up here so that you can play without Colin smashing it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she got herself dressed this morning. We haven't done her hair yet, but her curls are starting to get so long. I mean, obviously you can't tell very well right now because they're sleepy, but look at this one. Oh, I love it so much. Um, so I'm gonna get myself something to eat and um, yeah, like the playroom. Like, let me show you the playroom right now. They've been playing in it all morning. Take a look. Minimal mess, very minimal mess. It used to be like a sea of mess, but it's much more minimal because it's like that basket is Collins, is Collins toys. These are like extra bins that we need to figure out where we're, what we're gonna do with. And then there's just like, you know, it's been great. I should have done this a year ago, huh? But I'm glad I did it now. I'm really glad. <laughs> he is so wild, you guys. He is into everything. He can climb out of his high chair when he's strapped in, can't you? He is just wild man, but we love him. We love him so much. We love you so much. You're almost gonna be one, biggest boy. Yeah? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hey, Colin. Do you want some milkies? <laughs> you do? Do you want some milkies? Yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go nurse him, put him down. <laughs> He's nursing my leg. Hey guys, it's about nine o'clock a.m. on Saturday morning now, and I figured it would be a good time to go ahead and wrap this vlog up. We had a really good evening yesterday. We went and had dinner over our friend's house with a couple other couple friends and all of their kids, and the kids just ran around in the backyard and played and laughed and screamed, and they had a great time, and then all of us adults got to have some fun inside just chatting and enjoying each other's company and it was it was just so nice. It was a great way to end the week. 
So a couple of housekeeping things. If you had not yet heard or noticed, my fall Etsy line is out. It is chock full of all kinds of fun, fall, cozy, wintry, leafy, autumn-y designs. And then we also actually launched a football mini line a few days ago. And so if you are into football, there are four new football themed designs and two of them are actually more like game day game time themed designs that could be applied for any sport or activity so make sure to go check it out um, we are excited about that we've been getting lots of orders for those garments and those designs um, you know with football season starting up here in the next couple of days it's so exciting so or at least the NFL I know college football has already started so that's that and um, i will leave links below to everything butcher box is currently doing a free chicken for a year promotion i think in last week's vlog i said it was the wrong promotion it's free chicken for a year so that's a really good promotion i will leave a link to that below my wild grain information will be below which is the bake from frozen delivery service my liquid iv which has changed again the code has changed again i will leave that below um all of the things that i've mentioned in this video will also be linked below and i will see you guys next sunday for another video thank you for following along with us this week i hope you have a wonderful week and i will talk to you soon bye